Here's the thing. The brain can't innovate and analyze at the same time. And often we jump into analysis too soon, not giving our brains the chance to actually ignite innovation. I had this big deliverable due for our client. So the team and I got together in a brainstorming session, hoping to come up with all those brilliant ideas that was gonna solve our client's problem and of course, wow them in the process. So we got together, I flipped open the easel pads, grabbed the scented markers and we went to it. After an hour and a half, it was as if we got nowhere. All the ideas were incremental, everything was getting shut down. I'd say something and Susie across the table would go, yeah, but that'll never work because of this. Or Greg would say something and before he even finished his sentence, he would say, you know what, don't write that down, never mind. Or Barbara came up with an idea and immediately said, you know what, that's stupid, never mind. We were all analyzing at the same time as innovating. So I left that meeting super frustrated, not sure what I had done wrong, but I knew that the outcome wasn't good enough to achieve our goals. So I thought maybe a change in moderator would help the experience, would help us come out of our shells. So I asked my colleague Cliff if he would run our next brainstorm. So next week, we all got together. And now the pressure's on because we've got a deadline. So Cliff gets up there and he does something I'll never forget. He starts off by saying, hey team, we have 90 minutes together. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to spend the first 70 minutes innovating, coming up with the ideas. Quantity is our goal. Then in the final 20 minutes, we're gonna analyze, we're gonna judge, we're gonna put some criteria, we're gonna push some ideas aside and move some ideas forward. So he said, for the first 70 minutes, we innovate. For the last 20, we analyze. The most amazing thing happened. The team came to life. We were bubbling with innovative ideas that were totally missing the week before. Cliff taught me a very important lesson that day. And in my conversations and interviews with neuroscientists later, I came to understand the science behind the fact that truly our brains cannot innovate and analyze in the same time. So all we have to do to drive innovation, but still get to the analysis we need, is break the two apart. And you don't need a 90 minute brainstorm to do this. Let's say you're meeting with your team for 30 minutes. You just say, hey, we're gonna spend the first 20 minutes innovating and the last 10 minutes analyzing. Or maybe you're working on a challenge by yourself, just mapping out some ideas. Just let yourself know, all right, I'm gonna spend 15 minutes just going crazy and innovating, and then I'll spend five minutes reviewing and judging my ideas. That allows the brain to do what it does best in both of those moments, in both of those steps. In the first part, it allows the brain to tap your everyday innovator style and ignite innovation. And it then allows you to analyze, critique, do the things you need to do to judge. Here's the other interesting thing that I've learned about this. When we separate the two, we give ourselves permission to innovate, be a little bit bolder, bigger, a little crazier in our ideas in a good way. But also, it lets our primal brain know, the one that wants to shut down everything, that lizard brain, it lets the lizard brain know that analysis is coming. So that lizard brain quiets down a little bit. You stop yes budding everything. You start stop judging your ideas before you get them out. The two steps, whether for yourself or with a team, to generate a wealth of ideas is to innovate first and analyze later. I love to set a timer on my desk for 15 minutes where I just go to it and everything goes and I write them all down on my sticky notes. And then another timer for 10 minutes where I go through and review and analyze my ideas. I would encourage you to do the same, innovate, then analyze in the way that works for you in your work.